Hey, Spaz here back with another YouTube video and today we want to talk about the Xbox All Access pre-orders that were a complete mess in the UK. Let's get to it. So the new Xbox consoles had been released for pre-order on the 22nd of September and obviously there has been just a complete not a mess with the all access for them so just want to talk a wee bit about it just some of my thoughts and you know maybe a wee bit about what it is first so basically xbox all access is where you could actually pay off your console over as a two-year period and you so you get your console plus your uh, xbox game pass for you pay it over for two years so in the uk here it works out for the Xbox Series X £28.99 a month over two years. Um, for the Xbox Series S, it works out at £20.99 for two years, over two years. So you get your console, you get your subscription, and then you pay it off over the two years. So obviously, there's only a couple of companies were doing this. So it was Game UK and Smith's Toys. So on the pre order date, I think as well. Going by, I'm going like the article, article below as well, but from the article, there's only a smaller amount of consoles that are available for the Xbox All Access. But I just want to give me only comments and basically on this. But um, I think one of the issues was that I don't think the websites were could handle the amount of traffic. Obviously, prior to the release of the pre-orders, there was Microsoft was just releasing like there's days there's information coming out and coming out you know right up until they pre-ordered it and obviously the day before they had dropped the big announcement that they had bought Bethesda so like you know for 7.5 million dollars that was a big thing and I think that you know sort of propelled them about you know to get more people interested in it we're trying to pre-order one so I just think I don't think that the websites could handle it plus the fact they couldn't handle the tra the amount of traffic that's coming to the website, so obviously it was causing crashes and things as well. And I don't think, because they're saying from this article, there wasn't a lot of stock reserved for that part of it. But from from this, like obviously they had... So obviously you have to sign up to a credit agreement when you're taking the Xbox All Access. And you have to then, you know what I mean? So it, you have a credit file here. I'm not sure what it's like in the US, but here you have a credit file that checks it all out. You know, just obviously to make sure you can afford it or whatever, you know, so that there's no, that, you know, you're, you're good for making your payments, basically. So I think there's a lot of issues with that, and people are trying to click through, and I think one of the things that they were saying is that that even though you were declined from doing it, that that they're, they're talking about it's maybe, you know, affecting your credit file, you know, for future purposes, you know, for things you're paying off in credit agreements later on. Plus, there's some people have come out and said, that they're still paying for the amount every month even though they haven't got the new console so I'm not sure if that's just maybe something they have to just rectify but I'm not sure this is that rumor there isn't well from what I've heard is not in this article if I can find it before I put up the video I will link it in the video description below as well but from that point of view it is you know what I mean it's not a good thing that's, that's happened but it, it's done and dusted but I think they need to learn the companies from the things that happens with this pre-order launch they need to learn and try and improve and fix it in a better way that things like this don't happen in the future and um, i'll maybe do another wee video just maybe a general topic about you know things and maybe if i'm more maybe ideas and what they could do different you know but you know it is what it is it's done now and you know hopefully you get all the people that has any problems with their credit files sorted out and anybody who's paying, well, supposedly paying for it, will get that sorted as well. And we'll have to see what happens. But if I hear anything more, I'll do another wee bit of video and we'll see what happens. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. And if you want to be notified of any of our videos coming out, hit that bell notification button. And here, have a good day and I'll talk to you all soon. See you later. Bye.